Hello. <laughs> Could you please introduce yourself? Um, yeah. Hi, my name is Julia Rick. I'm 25 years old now, and yeah, I'm world champion in wakeboarding. And right now, I'm staying in Phuket. <laughs> Who uh, do inspiration for you? I think like um, all wakeboarders are an inspiration for me. I just like to watch videos, the latest wakeboarding videos, to yeah, to be inspired for new tricks, to try out some new things, and yeah, I just love the sport of wakeboarding. <laughs> do you like to travel? I love to travel. I love to travel to yeah different places, and that's one thing I love most on wakeboarding that takes me to so many places all around the world to yeah, get to know new cultures, new people, new places and yeah, that's what I love. Uh, I know that you are previously a football player, right? That's true. I played soccer for about 10 years and um, the last two years I played professionally in the second highest league of Germany and yeah, then I stopped completely for wakeboarding. And uh, for you, water is the most important thing in your life, or there is something more important, like family, or? I think, yeah, I think like family is um, the most important thing, and to be healthy, and um, yeah. Could But you please introduce uh, the one who <laughs> sits nearby you? Next to me is sitting my dad, um, Wilfred Rick, and um, yeah, he. He um, just uh, also likes to travel a lot and um, uh, joins almost all my travels, films me a lot, helps me with my training and yeah, supports me on my competitions. How many countries you visited already? I, I, I don't know, it's hard to, uh, to count, I think, too many to count already, um, but yeah, many countries and I think all around the world. Can you tell me, please, uh, what would you say to the children who just beginning? I think the most important thing is that you love the sport, that you really love to be on the water every day and yeah, all day. Um, I think it has to be really your passion if you want to yeah, just stick to the sport and if you want to keep on doing this and um, yeah, always keep having fun if you crash sometimes um, don't push yourself too hard and don't stress yourself too much just try to go out have fun and then you learn learn new tricks almost by itself <laughs> what is your goal um, yeah I already um, reached a lot of goals with winning various competitions and various titles but um, I still want to keep on uh, keep on doing this, um, keep on winning my competitions to defend all my titles, the world champion titles, European champion titles, and, um, but besides the competitions, um, I'm, I also want to yeah, try to keep on pushing the sport and to land or to keep on doing, to uh, land new tricks as first woman ever. I already landed uh, yeah, lots of new tricks as first woman ever, like Um, my latest new trick is the 1080, toeside backside 1080, I'm the first woman ever to land the 1080. And um, yeah, I want to push the sport with this, with landing new tricks, but also to get it more into the media, to help the sport to grow, and also to help to get uh, kids or m new kids into the sport to make it bigger, and yeah, to help wakeboarding. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about your education, because your English is perfect, so... <laughs> How does this happen that sport is the most important thing now in your life and you are very educated? So can you tell me please something about you? Um, I think, yeah, um, it's very important because it's just my passion. I really found my passion in wakeboarding when I first started it. I, from the beginning I knew this is what I want to do and so I stopped soccer. But um, uh, I also know that education is quite important. So I um, yeah, finished, uh, I already, um, well, I'm, right now I'm uh, studying, still studying, 
Um, I already finished my bachelor degree in business administration at the university in Cologne, Germany. <laughs> and um, yeah, I already finished, finished my bachelor degree and right now I'm doing my master's degree in uh, sports management also in Cologne, but at the German Sports University of Cologne. So I really try to combine the sport with educa uh, education. So in, at the moment I'm doing my sport. I am supported also by, Germ um, by Germany, um, by the uh, German army. So I am like in a sports promotion group of the German army. So I can do my sport and get the support from Germany to represent Germany on competitions. But I'm also doing yeah, or educating myself um, by studying, doing my master's degree, so that I can combine sport and something what I want to do after the sport. Because wakeboarding you can only do until a certain age and afterwards you have to do something else. But I think I definitely want to try to, or want to keep doing sport and try to combine my profession with my with sports. Could you please share your schedule, your daily schedule? Um, my daily schedule, um, there's lots of training inside, so I wake up quite early, um, do some workouts, um, work, work out off the water, and then do my training on the water in the mornings. Uh, and then in the afternoon, I usually go for another wakeboarding session, another session on the water. And um, yeah, usually in the evening or afternoon, I do again some off-water training, for example in the gym. Here in Phuket it's perfect, I go to the gym uh, at Tanya Pura. I'm also an ambassador of Tanya Pura. It's like one of the biggest sports centers in Asia where I can go to the gym, do some strength off-water training. But I also, besides the sports, um, yeah, have to do some, some for my studies, have to learn something and yeah, do some homework. <laughs> And also, I know that you are a very uh, healthy person. You like healthy lifestyle. Yeah. Could you tell me, please, a little bit about it? Um, yeah, that's true, because I think, uh, especially as an athlete, you really have to yeah, look after your body, because you really want to get the best performance out of it. And so it's important that you work out, so do also training off the water, not only on the water, uh, to prevent injuries. And um, I also try to yeah, eat healthy, so yeah, eat lots of good foods and have a balanced nutrition. So yeah, just try to maximize my performance and live a healthy lifestyle. <laughs> you know, people sometimes they want to stay a little bit longer in the bed and take their time. If some time happens with you such things, for example, today I don't want to go to the water. Usually not. Maybe only if I'm like uh, feeling sick or anyth anything like this. Um, only only the, at this time this can happen. But usually, I don't know, I'm just a person. Um, yeah, my mind is like this. I want to go, uh, go, uh, go, out of, go out of the bed early, do my workout, go on the water. I just lo love it like this. It's not that I really have to stress myself to do it like this I don't know it's just my mind it's how I am and yeah just to be honest it's really I, I, lo I love to uh, work out to be on the water every day and to be healthy so yeah I appreciate every day I'm healthy I'm fit I can do it like this and yeah <laughs> Could you please tell me a little bit about your board because it should be very special one <laughs> yeah um, it's the Ronix Wake Julia Rick Pro model board, so yeah, I'm quite, uh, I'm very happy about uh, or to have a pro model board. And um, 2017, I already had the Julia Rick board. Now 2018, the same. Um, I have another pro model board, and um, yeah, the design is quite similar, but with different colors. And um, but the most important thing is how it performs on the water. It's perfect for obstacle tricks, but also uh, strong on the edge for air tricks. And um, yeah, it has a good flex to press, to, to, lock, to uh, lock into presses on obstacles, but it's also fast on the edge. So perfect for air tricks. The lightest board on the world. And it's, yeah, one of the lightest boards on the world, I think. And um, that's perfect, especially if you are a female wakeboarder. 
it's not good if the board is too heavy. So it's perfect if it's quite light. So you feel it in the air and it's nice. And uh, just want to ask you about the kids. Are you work with the kids and have you ever explained the kids how to be wakeboarder? Yeah, I've already um, coached some kids several times. So um, yeah, and worked with kids uh, on and off the water. So um, yeah, it's a, it's a good feeling to give something back to the sport and to see uh, when the kids are happy, <laughs> if they land the trick you explained and if they are just having fun, yes. <laughs> and back, basically, where are you living? In Germany, Thailand, or <laughs> where? Um, yeah, like my home is in Germany. I'm from Germany. Cologne, Germany, that's where I still study, um, but I spend um, yeah, like at least half of the year traveling all around the world and then I spend um, lots of time in Thailand, especially Phuket, where I yeah, spend lots of time, especially in the winter, to prepare myself when it's too cold to ride in Europe. You are an amazing wakeboarder who travel a lot. so. What is the next destination? The next destination is um, first back to Germany, but only for one weekend. And then I will be traveling to London for the, the second uh, Plastic Playground World Tour stop this year. And um, yeah, the first World Tour stop I won in Thailand, Bangkok, Thailand in February this year. So now um, I'm already in the semi-final and yeah, I'm looking forward to this competition. Looking forward yeah, to have a good competition in London. Can you please share something about your childhood? <laughs> um, yeah, I had a great childhood, <laughs> I think. Um, I have a yeah, nice family with my mom and my dad. My dad, Wilfred Rick, is sitting here next to me right now. He yeah, spends um, lots of time with me traveling and he always supported me from the beginning. First, it, well, I would say in every sport. First it was soccer, and then uh, I found my new passion in wakeboarding and yeah, he just likes to support it and um, supports me on my competitions, on my travels and yeah, my mom uh, also supports, uh, supports my uh, sports, um, she's not traveling all the time with me, she um, has to work in Germany and she's not like self-employed so she it's not holiday all year round, um, but she also supports my sport and yeah, so perfect. <laughs> what about pets? Do you have any pets at <laughs> home? Yeah, we uh, um, had a nice dog, but um, unfortunately a few years ago um, she passed away. It was a Rhodesian Ridgeback dog, it was a nice dog. Um, uh, but right now I still have like uh, two tortoises, like turtles on the water, tortoises. And um, yeah, <laughs> they are really nice, uh, nice pets to feed them. They are living uh, in the backyard. It's also nice. <laughs> when you come back to Germany, you have a lot of friends. How you spend time together? Yeah, um, for example, at the lake uh, or uh, during my studies at the u university. So yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing and being <laughs> here. And we wish you prosperity. And you know, you are the best family which I see because I think you're, you are the one who can do inspiration of children and the one who is the future of wakeboarding. Thanks. Thank you very much and yeah, love to inspire all people. And thank you.